I do want this position, but I won't say like a man, like I want this position, I want to earn that much and you should give it to me. So usually women are just like trying to show that they're worth this position. In my case, I have definitely lacked role models. I was the first person to study in my family. So it was definitely a new thing. I didn't really have a lot of guidance and I didn't really actually know what could have been possible. I think often there's a lot going on in women's lives, particularly after 10 years professional experience, whether it's they have children or they have family responsibilities, caregiving, uh, confidence I think can be a big issue for women as well, and not prioritizing themselves or feeling that they're enough to enter into an executive MBA program. I recognize that, for example, in my company we have like 50-50 men and women, but the higher you go in the like hierarchy, we are not so like hierarchical company, but anyway, you have le less and less women. And I think this is because, of course, men and women, they have their own leadership style maybe, but I think this is also because women to be um, acknowledged on the same level, they should invest much more. I think it does come back to the gender roles entrenched in culture. I know that's a big word, right? But I think for me, it, it really means also, are you exposed early on as a girl and then as a woman in your career moving on? And then as you go on upwards, are you exposed to opportunities or are you signaled from culture and society that this is something for you? I think women always need to be sure they know everything before they go into a new challenge. And uh, obviously an executive role are still in many industries very male-driven, so you need to have the mental journey before you come here um, that you're ready to go there. And I think that is a lot of mental preparation. And um, yeah, that's why I think we still are less in our cohort than our male peers that we love. So I have uh, over 20 years experience in the logistics industry and we are a rather male-dominated industry. So I think the supply chain arena has a lot of room for great women in leadership. I see that uh, when I'm here at the WHU Kellogg MBA that really women evolve develop their careers and step up in their careers. Even more senior participant in the program, she directly took me out kind of under her wing and she was like, okay, you're in this situation, let me give you some tips if you want to receive it, right? And, and, then, and then basically um, just, just some guidance in that sense. So I personally started my EMBA program after I had kids and after I even founded my, my startup. Is it before you have kids? Is it after you have kids? So I think um, this is probably why women are often more hesitant to find the right timing. I would just recommend everyone to just reach out to the people who do it. Reach out to me, reach out to my inspiring colleagues, reach out to the program and just get a feel for it. From my side, anytime I feel scared to do something or nervous or apprehensive, the question that I always ask myself is what's the worst that can happen? Life is short, you know, and yeah, it can wait definitely because like the program doesn't have any age limits, you know, you can join it when you're 60, but if you want to maximize the time that you have, probably better start it now and get as much rewards afterwards, you know, during your life journey. You believe in yourself and, and step into that opportunity. Really own the room because you belong. I've met some amazing people in the class, from the professors to the team, here at VHU. So it's been a journey of abundance and positivity. Yes, it takes a lot of time. Yes, there's a lot of work, but I must say so far that it's, it's extremely enjoyable, fulfilling, and it's adding a lot to my life.